Hi everyone, welcome back to Project Reactor Essentials and in this video we are going to see how to use the subscribe ohm to have a blocking call being executed in the background. So for that let's create a new test and let's call this test public void subscribe ohm I O. Okay, so what we are trying to achieve, imagine that we have here a file, let's create a file, let's call this file just a text dash file. And let's add some lines. Uh, Tatama is the strongest character. Now that we have this file, we have uh, five lines. And we are going to read these lines. So here on subscribe on, we are going to read these lines into a list. So we are probably going to return a mono that it's a list of strings. So when you are trying to have uh, something running in the uh, background thread, you should use the from callable. And this is going to execute your uh, blocking I.O. or call or whatever you're trying to do in a background thread. So here, what I'm trying to achieve is uh, read files dot read all lines from the path. And here we give the name text dash file. And uh, this log and subscribe on and the documentation advises us to use the scheduler's bounded elastic okay so when i do this if i just use a let's create here the local variable um, let's just call list if i subscribe here list dot subscribe and we, it's a good idea for us to print what we have here, right? So this one is going to return a list and we can log that info, what we have inside that list. Let's uh, execute this. And we are probably not going to see anything because this is going to finish way too fast. Okay, and we don't see anything. Let's just add thread.sleep for two seconds and then we use here furls exception. Okay, so this is uh, happening in a background thread, Elastic one, and you can see here the result from the, the file. So if you want to test this, it's a bit uh, different from what we have been doing because now we need to assert that we do have something here in this uh, list. It should not be empty because imagine you don't want to use the expect next for each one of the values that you have inside that file so just asserting that we have uh, the list not empty should be good for us so we are going to uh, mix a little bit of g unit in our tasks now so we can call here step verifier the same way we have been doing with create and then we send this list and we expect subscription and then we can use here then consume while this list and we can uh, use assertions here so for example assertions uh, well, I cannot use list name let's use L so assertions from Jupyter dot uh, well we can assert false that this is empty now log.info so you will see size list dot l dot size and then you just have to return true to continue and here dot verify complete so I will remove this one and I will execute now. So as you can see, the size is five. If I change this assert to true, 
my test uh, failed. So let's go back to assert false. There you go. So if you are executing calls to external APIs, this is also the, the way to do it. So in this way, you are not going to block the, the main thread. Well, that's uh, everything that I wanted to tell you in this video. See you in the next one. Bye.